<gasps> he looks so different. Look at his eyes, they're gorgeous. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode reaction of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm up to episode seven now, and I am definitely looking forward to seeing how this fight between Gojo and Jogo plays out. So in the last episode, we saw a bit more of Geto and Jogo and a couple other curses who are planning on eliminating all the Jujutsu sorcerers. They want to kill Gojo and also get Iridori slash Sukuna on their side in order to beat the Jujutsu Sorcerers in like a war, I think is what I gathered. Now they unleashed a little bit of chaos in the restaurant in the last episode, killed absolutely everybody. So now I am slightly terrified of them and what they can do. Jogo was telling Geto that he could easily match Gojo in a fight if he obtains this sort of cursed object, which I forgot the name of. But I wonder if he's actually got that now because now he's confronting Gojo in a fight and we're about to see how that turns out. I'm hoping Gojo will just like completely destroy this curse but at the same time if he's on par with Gojo and he could also potentially be a big part in the remainder of this series. So I don't know what to think about how this goes, whether he gets completely destroyed. I know Gojo isn't going to die but Jogo could easily be destroyed or whether he kind of just runs away maybe Gojo runs away and he's just waiting for another chance to eliminate Gojo. Now Itadori is alive and Sukuna made a pact with him inside Sukuna's mind that he would restore his body as long as Itadori agreed to like these terms that Sukuna had. So Sukuna when he says extension can take over Itadori's body immediately but only for one minute he can't harm anyone else except for like the subject who they're focused on killing. But Itadori cannot remember this interaction, this discussion they had about the pact at all. So it's very interesting. I do wonder what his sort of intentions are behind that decision there, that condition. Regardless, I'm keen to see Mara Sukuna. I'm always keen to see Mara Sukuna. Now I do have uncut and early access reactions posted on my Patreon. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, if you enjoy this sort of content and let's get into this episode. Gojo is gonna like survive. I know that for sure. Whether he actually like beats this Jogo guy or what, I'm not sure, but he's gonna be fine, either way. <laughs> Just what do you think I am? Not who, what do you think I am? That's interesting. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, he's fine. Right, where is he? Where's Gojo? How? How did he do that? So special grade. Or is it something else? An unregistered special grade. You're kidding. Stronger than Sukuna? There is no way. That thing is stronger than Sukuna. But that just means that he probably took that other cursed subject, right? Gained that power and that's why he's stronger or as not as strong as Sukuna. <laughs> oh what is that? He is insane. His power is insane. That's all it took. Dude, he is nowhere near hurt. <laughs> He's unscathed, untouched. <laughs> Come on, he's trying to teach you something, you gotta listen. So what, there's like a force field around him? Ooh. <laughs> he is taunting him. He's got so much strength and just... There is no way you can beat him. 
He said he could even be stronger than Sukuna, so Gojo could defeat Sukuna then as well, right? No, he's like the real deal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. How do you do that exactly? <laughs> what? What did you do? He just disappeared, brought back Iridori, and now he's walking on water. Mount Fuji. <laughs> How did he do that so quickly? So he's managed to do it. Oh, good job, Itadori. I'm proud. I'm really proud of him. Move on to the next stage. Let's go. Let's go defeat this volcano curse thing. Domain expansion. Hell yeah. That sounds incredible. Let's go. Yeah, 10 seconds ago. All right. Yeah, what is he doing? You walked here? I also like, not exactly kill him, but just render him unable to fight. How's he gonna do that though? How's he gonna stop Gojo from fighting? <laughs> yeah, he's not too happy about that. Domain expansion. So they're in his domain, Jogo's domain. Isn't that dangerous? Dude, I'd be holding on to Gojo for dear life. I'd be clinging to him. Coffin of the Iron Mountain. This is making me a bit nervous. Oh god, that just shows you how incredible he is. Oh, the prison realm, that's what it was called. Did he actually get the prison realm though? Ooh, okay. Dude, is he taking off his... <gasps> <laughs> he looks so different. Oh, this is incredible. Yeah, I think it was. Not gonna lie. Oh, wow. The inner world of Limitless. Look at his eyes, they're gorgeous. That was insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I think he might just be the best. Surely he wouldn't try and rescue them. Like, they're just gonna die anyway. They try. Oh, that's really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly my thoughts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, are you sure about that? Ooh, that is something scary to aim for. For the next month, just watching movies and fighting him. Him, the best Jujutsu sorcerer ever. <laughs> That's right, he missed all that to me. Oh no, I was so nervous. Sealing him. Oh no. October 31st. <laughs> that episode was insane. Okay, so starting off the fight with Gojo and Jogo, I knew that Jogo wasn't gonna win. Gojo was always gonna win that. I just did not realize to what extent Gojo's powers were absolutely mind-blowing how crazy this guy is so it seems like his power curse thing is called infinity
trendy. It is such a cool, cool concept and it is just absolutely insane. It's ridiculously strong. Now see you in Gojo's eyes as well like he took with the bandana. I'm assuming he does that to like fully reach the extent of his power like creating his infinity domain. The domain thing was crazy in itself. So so incredible but his eyes as well like they were beautiful for starters and secondly it was so so weird seeing him without the bandana like it was literally like looking at another person, like a completely new person. So yeah, I do wonder whether him using his eyes, like them not being concealed by the bandana, is connected in some sort of weird way to his innate domain. Does he need to do that every time he wants to unleash the domain? Or is his just power too strong that he needs to kind of conceal his eyes? It kind of forms like a bit of a veil between him and the rest of the world. I don't know, I have quite a few questions at the moment about his power. I love, love, love the fact that Gojo just quickly ducked out mid fight. He just quickly ducked out to the school just to pick up Itadori and bring him back and just to teach him a few things. He didn't need him. He didn't need his help or Sukuna's help. He just wanted to give him a bit of a lesson and <laughs> I think that's so, so hilarious. So yeah, Itadori's there with us just learning a bit about Gojo, seeing his beautiful eyes for the first time and just learning a bit more about, yeah, everything. Ooh, I also didn't expect Geto to be like watching the whole fight play out from afar obviously but he was just chilling there the whole time just witnessing everything and then this other curse was it hanami that thing came in and rescued jogo and then we witness ghetto and maybe a bit of his power he just opens up a door in an apartment building but then walks out onto a beach where we then are introduced to another curse who is named mojito i'm pretty sure so i've seen that guy in like the opening and he looks kind of fierce in that opening so i'm kind of nervous now to see what sort of power he has in terms of on level with gojo or what but he does look pretty cool so i'll give him that now it seems like that little group of curses as well it has a plan to seal gojo on the 31st of october whatever seal means i'm sure we'll find out soon unless i've already missed it but the 31st of october is there a reason for that date is it potentially the fact that maybe more curses are around on halloween or is it literally just a random date i feel like there'd be definitely some reason why ghetto chose that date though to seal gojo but yeah that was like crazy crazy episode there i enjoyed it so so much and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as well if so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And also remember, I do have uncut and early access reactions posted in my Patreon linked in the description. So please check that out. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it also. And definitely stick around for future videos.